Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for July 24th, July 30th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, kind, passionate, loving, sweet. Scorpio, show me spirit guys. What's going on with my Scorps? Let's see. Show me spirit guys. Oh, I got the justice card. The Knight of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Pentacles and the Star. Huh. You know, I, I see this reading and I, it starts off with the Justice card. The Justice card is about karma. I mean, it's almost, and I'm going to be very honest with you, Scorpio. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I see. It's like you want revenge on someone. You want someone to get revenge, but yet and still you still love them and want to be with them. So, you know, you, you got something going on right now that's a love-hate thing that you got going on for this person. Because that justice card is all about karma. It's about karma. If you've been treating someone well, then your karma is going to be good karma. Things are good are going to come back to you. But if you've been a straight butthole to someone, you know, if you've been just very nasty, even, uh, unkind to someone, then that revenge, your revenge... That karma is going to come back in a negative way. And here's the deal. This person here, I see this Knight of Wands that's right next to you, right next to this Justice card. You want them to get their, to, to earn, to, <laughs> you want revenge on them. And the reason you want revenge is because, you know, the Knight of Wands is an on and off energy. They ghosted you. And I see that. I just see they ghosted you. I think they, they've done you like this before, though. This is not the first time. But this is a person. This is an energy also. It's, it, uh, they're very passionate. When you guys are together, that's what makes it so much on target because you're a passionate person too, and they're very passionate too. But one minute you think that they're all in, and the next minute they're, woof, they're gone. They ghosted you. So you want them to get the revenge, but yet and still, you still want to be with them. You still love them. So you got to figure out which way you want to go. You got to figure out which way you want to go. Do you want them to get the revenge and move on? Or what do you want? you got to figure that out because I see in the middle of the reading that two of wands. Two of wands is discontentment. Two of wands means that you are just trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure things out. Look at him looking into this crystal. Or I don't know if it's a crystal ball, but he's looking at the world or looking at some ball here that's, that's telling him what's going to happen next. Because right now, you're stuck between love and hate. Yeah, I see revenge and love. I mean, I just see you're stuck there because... It's like, go, and, and I don't know what it is, but you're stuck there. And what you're trying to do is figure things out. You're trying to start all over again with this two of wands to figure things out because this person has ghosted you and, is, and, and you want them to get their revenge. You want to give them, you want revenge on them. So let's see, I also see the three of pentacles. You want, you want a team player. <laughs> that's, how, that's what I see. You just want a team player. You thought they were a team player. Maybe they were at one time. But, you know, the Knight of Wands kind of lets you know that they're a playboy. Um, you, you know you know when you got with this person, you knew their reputation. So, in a, in a way, it's all about you too, Scorpio. But I understand, some, you know, we want what we can't have. But this Three of Pentacles is here, which means teamwork. You Teamwork makes the dream work. And that's, you know, you want them to come on and you want to be a team, possibly with them. You want to be a team. Um, and you know, I think that you see that. I think perhaps too, you guys have had great conversations. I don't know, but you just see yourself being a team with this person. Now I do have the star card that's at the end of this portion of your read, which means could represent an Aquarius sun sign, but more importantly, that star card is hope. That's why I said to you, 
there's see she's pouring water into which is calming which is hope she's you're trying to bring this person back to you you're praying you 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 want them to be back in your life you want them to and i don't even say back in your life you want them to be in your life because they're not in your life they're not they're they're, they're they ghosted you for right now but like i said they do this all the time but here is uh you with the star card um the star card is wishes hoping so you're in between love and hate with this relationship with this particular person. Let's see. If this is your read, please give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading. I'm going to clarify the reading to see if additional information the spirit guys might want you to know. Why? Um, just sit back, relax. Just give me three to five minutes. Why is this justice card here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the justice card here? Show me. Why is the justice card here? For my Scorpios. Let's see. Show me spirit guides. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. What did I say to you? Thank you spirit guides. You're juggling these emotions when it comes to this person. It's a love hate emotion. It's I love you. I hate you. I can't stand. But you're juggling your emotions or, or juggling back and forth when it comes to this person. You want revenge. But you love them. So let's see why the Knight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, I have that strength card. And that's what you want to do. You want to bring them into you. That strength card can represent a Leo sun sign. But that strength card is that you want to bring this person into you. You want to, uh, you in, in essence, see how this woman is calming this this lion here. But you know, a lion doesn't lay on a woman like that. You can't, you can't get a lion to do that. So, I mean, it's almost unrealistic when I see this strength card here. And I understand what you want. You want to bring them in. You want to calm them down. You want to, them to be all about you. But with this Knight of Wands, that is not happening. They are still out there dip, doing what they do. Um, they're a playboy. They're, they have other women. You know, but, you know, you do want them to come to you and to, and to um, come in and stop. They're a little wild. And they are wild. With the strength card, this person is wild. And you want them to come and be with you. To settle down with you. So let's see. Why is this two of wands here? Show me spirit guides. Uh oh. I see the empress. Somebody's getting ready to settle down with you. That empress card is there. Here's what the problem is in Scorpio. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. That's the problem. But they're still out there doing it. I'm just saying, I'm going to tell you straight up. That's why, you, you know, you love them, you hate them. That Empress card is there. You are with child. That's why this Two of Wands is here, too. You're discontent with how things are going right now. They know you're pregnant. They know you're pregnant, but they, they, they didn't make a commitment. They have not made a commitment. So let's see why the Three of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Huh, I see why you want them to, why you want to be a team with them. Let's see, why is this Three of Pentacles here? Show me spirit guides. Whew, two of swords, two of swords. This whole reading is about being indecisive with this person. Um, because the two of swords means you're stuck. Because you want to be a team with them. But the two of swords means you're right there in the middle. Now you're, you're right there in the middle. It's just like you, you don't know what to do. You're stuck. You're stuck for one thing. You feel like you're stuck because you're pregnant. The other thing is that um, you know that your baby's father is a playboy and he's out there and he's still doing what he does. He might even have more children. I'm going to be very honest with you. This is someone that is not a settled down person. And you just, I, I hate to say it, but I just see you got caught. You fell in love and you got caught. But this tool of source lets me know you're stuck. You're just stuck right there in the middle. When I say you're just indecisive about this. You don't know which way to go. You don't know whether to... Um, keep involving them in what's happening right now or to move on because see they're not i don't see them really commit they're, well they're not committed to you first and foremost and you're quite not quite sure what to do next what to do next that's why you see that two of wands there you're not quite sure what to do next but you're wishing and hoping and praying because that star card is there remember the star card can represent aquarius sun sign as well on the board i see aquarius i also see leos as well so it just depends but let's see I see why there's a love-hate relationship going on, too. Um, let's see why this star card is here. Show me. Three of Wands. You want a future. You want this future with this person. But I, I don't know. I don't know. You're hoping and wishing and praying. 
because you're going to have a child with them and what you really want is a future with them you want a future with this person but this person has not come in yet and i understand see because here's the justice card you you want revenge on them because that sometimes they're in sometimes they're out there playboy they're still out there they're stuck that's why you see the strength card there that's why you're juggling these emotions too i love you i hate you you want revenge on them you almost want something to happen to them but not in a bad way you just want them to um settle down but you need some you want something to happen to them but i, I when i say that i when i say happen to them i don't necessarily mean for them to die or anything die hard like that but I don't know, maybe you want them, because I think they have a lot of women, maybe you want them to be heartbroken by someone. I don't know. Heart, you know, I don't know. There's something, revenge. You want them to get some type of revenge because you feel like you feel like they deserve this. And I'm, you, we know why now because you're pregnant. But here's a strength card. You want to bring them in. And when I say bring them in, they're still wild. They're still out there. But let's see, the two of wands means you're starting all over. You're discontent. You're pregnant, but, you know, they still have not come in. They're still out there wild, and they're still doing their thing. Now, here's the three of pentacles. You want to team with them. You want to team with you. Teamwork makes a dream work, and when you're with child, you want a team uh, with this person. But let me tell you, I think that this person also has other children. They have other baby mamas. You're going to be uh, one of the baby mamas, but I don't know if you're going to change them because you really can't change a person unless they're willing to change. So here you are with this two of swords indecisive about them. You're very indecisive about them. What type of father will they be? You don't understand. You're trying to figure it out. But here's a star card here, which can represent an Aquarius sun sign. And when I see that star card, what you're doing is just wishing and praying and hoping and believing that this will change. You believe that this that they will change. You believe that they will come to you. Um, and there's a three of wands. And when I see that, I almost think that your, your dreams are going to come true. I really do. Because three of wands means future. And I think the spirit guys has said um, that you are going to get, you and this person are going to make a team. And I, I don't see any cards that say marriage yet. But I do, teamwork. But I do see that you may make a team and he may become a great father to your child. Um, but like I said, you have a lot to deal with because he has other baby mamas. You're not the only one. But I do see him with you. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Show me. Oracles. Show me what do you want to show them. Show me, oracles. Show me what do you want to say. Well, they say remain positive for one thing, which I think is really powerful. Huh. Meditation brings answers. Meditation. Pray. Meditation is prayer. Nothing but prayer. And that's why this star card is here. I do believe that this person is going to turn their life around and end up being with you. I really do believe that. I think that there's something here. There's a, there's, and I, I hate to use the word magic, but there's a magic. There's a sprinkling here. There, 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 but you've got to release. Here, here's what I say. You've got to release your negativity. You've got to release the, your revenge. you got to open up your heart space, forgive, and allow them to come in. Because right now, they're still out here wild and they've ghosted.